guys! So many of you know my husband and I have been doing the Dave Ramsey financial plan and you guys have been requesting that I share our budget and our envelope system so I figured with it being the new year and with so many of you making financial plans and financial goals that I would go ahead and start a financial series on my channel. So every Friday from now through the next few weeks I'm going to be sharing some kind of financial video. I'm going to touch our budget. I'm going to talk about our envelope system. If there's any other video that you would like to see as part of the series make sure to leave me a comment below and I will get to your requests. Um, I wanted to start out this series kind of talking about our financial history and also sharing our Financial Peace University experience so you guys can kind of get caught up and really understand where we are right now. This video is probably going to be pretty long, so if you have something productive to do like the laundry or washing dishes or things like that, maybe you can take me along with you on your iPad or your laptop and just listen in to what I have to say. That's usually what I like to do. Um, if I leave something out, I apologize. If you have a question, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I know I'm going to leave something out because I've filmed this video like four times and I keep remembering, oh yeah, I need to talk about that first. So like I said, if you have any questions or are confused about what I said, please feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to take you way back when to when I was a little kid and kind of share with you how I dealt with money. Um, so my parents didn't ever give us an allowance. We always just did chores because we lived in the house and we had to help help out. Um, that being said, there was always like you know some side jobs that we could do to earn money. I remember asking my dad one time um, what I could do to earn money, and he told me that I could do his laundry and I would earn two dollars per load of laundry. So I took his basket of laundry out and I separated his two loads into eight so that I could earn as much money as possible because he didn't specify on how big the loads had to be. He just said that I could earn two dollars per load. So I'm, you know, entrepreneur at heart. I earned some money. So I did that. Uh, when we got older, we did things that were like pulling the weeds or helping my dad do yard work or things that, you know, we really hated to do. And we would earn more money that way. Um, we also received money for birthdays and Christmas and holidays and things like that for my grandparents. So really if there was anything that we ever wanted, we had to pay for it ourselves. My parents didn't just hand us money and say, here, go buy what you want. That really never happened. So my parents were really good about teaching us the value of a dollar and how to work hard for money. Uh, one of the biggest financial lessons that I learned, I think I was like seven or eight, maybe even six. I don't even remember. It was so long ago. But it stands out in my memory so much because it was probably like the biggest financial lesson that I've ever learned. And it was so simple. So when my brother and I were younger, he had gotten some money for my grandparents for Christmas, or not Christmas, for his birthday. And so he went to the toy store and he found something that he wanted and he was going to pay for it. And I fell in love with this poly fashion car. I still have it to this day. And I wanted it so bad, but I didn't have any money. So he was sweet and offered to loan me the money so I could buy what I wanted. And then my mom said that when I, you know, received money, I would have to pay him back for it. So, you know, all is well with the world. I got what I wanted. I'm so excited, not even thinking about having to pay him back. You know, whatever, I'll pay you when I get the money. Not a big deal. So fast forward comes Easter, and my grandparents had sent us like $10 in the mail um, and a little Easter card. And my mom said, oh, that's great, but now you have to pay your brother back. And I was holding my money thinking, what? Like, I just got this money in the mail just now. I'm so excited about it. I'm going to go buy myself something new, and now I have to get to my brother? I was not happy at all and I remember my dad saying, well that's not fair, that's her Easter money and my mom saying, well that's not fair, that was TJ's birthday money and he let her borrow it. So I paid him and I remember like having this like knife in my chest like, oh my gosh, this is the worst feeling in the whole world. I never want to ever have to owe anybody money again in my whole life. So from that moment on, I pretty much hated all things that had to do with debt. Um, and I was always really good with my money. Um, I got my first job at 15 and I absolutely loved it. I loved the idea of earning my own money. The only bills I had to pay were my car insurance and my gas. Everything else was just if I wanted something, I bought it for myself. Um, the rest would go into savings. So I pretty much saved about half of my paycheck um, because I wanted a big fat savings account. At one point I had three different retail jobs just for the sake of saving money because I wanted money. I just wanted to have money. So um, 
I always liked having a savings account and I always would save things like I would save money for bigger items let's say I wanted a new purse that was $100 instead of just going and buying it for $100 I would save $20 a paycheck until I could go and pay for it without it being a big hit on me um, and I would put it in an envelope and I would just wait and save it and I had no idea who Dave Ramsey was at this point I had no idea he had taught about envelope systems or anything like that I thought I was a genius that I came up with this idea not knowing that it had already been created um, so that's kind of where I was before I got married, never went into any debt other than paying my brother back, um, and was really good with money. So now I met David, um, he was really pretty good with money as well. He didn't have any credit card debt or anything like that. He just had a, um, car payment, which his dad had paid cash for the car and he was paying his dad back. So once we had kind of gotten serious, like the second day into our relationship and we decided that we wanted to get married. Um, he decided to just go ahead and pay off the car as fast as he could, that way we wouldn't have to worry about it. And then he knew that he wanted to propose to me, but he wasn't going to do it until he could actually pay outright for the ring. So what he did was he waited until he got his tax return back in 2010 and went ahead and bought my ring and proposed to me. And it was paid for and we didn't have anything to worry about. So then once we were engaged and we were planning for our wedding, we knew we had to pay for our honeymoon in his tux and our suit and boots and just all these different things that we wanted to have for our wedding so what we would do is we would um we got i think we got a, a joint bank account before we even got married and we just split everything um and so i would take a certain amount out to go for our wedding bands or our honeymoon and i would put them into envelopes with you know the name on it so i'd have our honeymoon and i would put the money in it and then when we would have to pay you know if we'd have to put a deposit on our honeymoon i would go and pay it when i had the cash and things like that so we never had to worry about going into debt both of us had decided before we got married that we didn't want to go into debt we didn't want to have to use credit cards for anything the only time that we had credit cards was just because we wanted to build our credit because we knew we wanted to buy a house so for instance, um, for my, I think my 20th birthday, my 21st birthday, I think it was my 20th birthday, I had saved up money to buy myself an Apple, like Mac desktop computer. I had the cash, but we decided that instead of me paying for it with the cash, she would go ahead and open a credit card, I think it was with Barclay, and um, pay for my computer with a credit card, and then I would just pay the cash back and pay it off. So that way he would build some credit. So we were doing really well financially, um, we didn't have any debt, we got married, we are all happy, um, and then, you know, bills started coming in, I had my car payment and his car payment, and then I had a rent that we had to pay, and we had HOA we had to pay, and we had groceries we had to buy, and it was just all this different stuff, and I was having a really hard time balancing everything out and figuring out what needed to go where, and I, I couldn't get my act together. I didn't have any kind of budget, I was just, you know, putting money where it needed to go, and I was like in a whirlwind. I was going a little crazy. Then comes December, our first Christmas together, and I'm like, what the heck? It's Christmas, and I don't have any money saved up. I have always like cash flowed and used an envelope system to pay for big things like this, and I didn't have any money. So we ended up putting $615 on a credit card to pay for Christmas, and I remember like having that gut feeling like this is not good like this makes me feel sick I cannot believe that we are in debt even though it was only $615 which I'm sure to some of you you're like I wish I could be $615 in debt right now but for me it was huge not being in debt and having this debt weighing on my shoulders for Christmas like I was so upset so um, before we had gotten married, I had heard people talk to us about Dave Ramsey in the Financial Peace University. Um, some of our friends had taken the class, and my pastor had recommended that we do it as part of our premarital counseling, but it just never worked with David's school schedule. Um, so then, right after Christmas, I think in, it either started in January or February, they started a Financial Peace University class at our church, and it happened to work out perfectly with our work schedule and school schedule. Um, so we went ahead and took the class, and like I said, we were $615 in debt, and we were the youngest people in our class. And I remember thinking, like, there's no way we can do Financial Peace University because we can't afford to pay $100 for the kit. We just cannot afford it. Um, you know, we basically were making less than the bills that we had. Um, so at the end of the month, it was like, we have a bill to pay and we don't have the money for it. And it was just scary to me. So I'm thinking, how am I going to pay for this Financial Peace class? So 
We had some money in our savings account, which I was totally against touching our savings account. But we went ahead and we went ahead and bought the, we went ahead and we went ahead. We did touch our savings and we got the Financial Peace University kit. The actual church didn't make us pay for the class. It was just the kit that we had to buy. And let me tell you, it was the best $100 I have ever spent because it got me on track and it just worked for us. But that's coming. So we went ahead and purchased our Financial Peace University kit. This is what it looks like. You can get it on Dave Ramsey's website. Now you can buy this for yourself and you can just do the class by yourself because it comes with the DVDs and everything. Um, but we took the class at our church and I recommend doing it with people because it just keeps you accountable and it makes you have to go to the class and really you know, pay attention. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys what's in this box before I talk about our class too much. Um, because I watch a lot of people who talk about Dave Ramsey here on YouTube, but not very many of them talk about the actual class. I don't think many of them have gone through the class. Um, because, you know, you can listen to him on his podcast and his YouTube channel and things like that. And you can kind of get the gist of what he teaches. You can also go on his website. He has lots of great material on there for you as well. But we went ahead and took the class. So this is the kit. I think, like I said, it was 100 bucks, And it comes with a ton of stuff. Honestly, most of it we didn't even use because I just... I don't know. I mean, I'm sure if you did it, you would use it, but for me, I just didn't. One of the things it comes with that I haven't touched is the Financial Peace University envelope system. Um, this is his actual envelope system. And what he teaches is that you have an envelope, example A, and let's say, let's, this one says food. So this would be your grocery budget. So you would take, let's say, you take out $500 a month for food. Um, you would take that $500 and you would put it in your envelope, which if you open this up, this is the envelope right here. You would put your money in there and then you would write on it, okay, deposit $500. And then you would write, I went to Walmart and I spent $200 and you would subtract it. And that's just something that I don't like to do. Um, I know that I have $500 to spend on groceries. It doesn't matter where I spent it. I spent $500 groceries that month and it's gone. And I can't have any more money for groceries. So for me, keeping track of all this doesn't make sense. For you, it might. So it comes with his envelope system and then it also has some extra envelopes that you can put in here or use like if you had used up your envelope and you needed a new one, you could do that. So it comes with this envelope system. I might actually give this one away in a future video since I'm not using it. Maybe one of you will um, be able to. So I have that in the kit. It also comes with this little welcome thing. And this is has your online code so that you can access some of the online stuff. And then it also comes with some um, bookmarks, an eraser, a pencil, some stickers. Um, and then it has a pencil sharpener and things like that in there. So that's just your little welcome kit, which is probably like the main thing that I used from this kit. And then it also comes with the Dave Ramsey Complete Guide to Money book. This you're supposed to read every time that you go to the class, you're supposed to read a chapter in the book. But honestly, it taught the exact same thing that you learn in the class. So really, it was just kind of like a refresher on what he had already talked about. So we got about halfway through this book and decided it didn't, you know, it wasn't worth our time to read it because we were learning the exact same thing in the class and we had already, um, you know, known about it. So, but I think that this book is good to have because, you know, we're a year out of our class now. It would be good to go back and read it and kind of get a refresher. But I think reading it along with the class was a little too much. Also, it comes with the DVDs. Like I had mentioned, you don't have to take the actual class because it does come with the DVDs and you can do it at home on your own. Um, so this has from week one all the way through week nine. I haven't used these just because we went to the class and didn't need them. But like I said, this is going to be good for in the future to kind of get a refresher. Um, it'd be nice to just put it in my DVD player while I'm cleaning the house and just listen to him. Um, I think Dave Ramsey is hilarious and he does really well at keeping your attention. He's a great speaker. So um, these are nice to have. And then it comes with some forms. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure what came in here because I think we had used them. But one of the things that comes in here is this progress chart and you can hang it up and keep um, track of how well you're doing, what step you're on. Um, I guess I should mention, if you guys don't know what Dave Ramsey teaches, he teaches the seven baby steps. The first one is to save $1,000 in a beginner emergency fund. The second one is to pay off all of your debt. Third is to put three to six months of expenses into a savings account. The fourth baby step is to invest 15% of your household income. Step five is to save for your children's college. Step six is to pay off your house early. And seven is build wealth and give. So you can keep track of what baby step you're on through that. And I think it also came with some other forms like I had mentioned. 
And then last and most importantly, it comes with the Financial Peace University Handbook. And this you take to every single one of your classes and it has blank spaces where you would write in, um, you know, the words so it keeps you paying attention. So I really liked this. It was nice to have this. You could write notes down. You could, you know, do whatever you wanted with this. So this is something you're going to bring to every single one of your classes and it's something that's really important. Um, you just buy one kit per family. So, you know, there's no need to have two for, you know, you and your husband. You just need one. Um, and we took turn using this and making notes. So that's everything that comes in the kit. Like I said, it is about $100 and I was extremely nervous about spending that $100. But if you're like me and you're worried about it, just know that this kit will honestly save you so much that it's worth every single penny and it pays for itself a million times over. So find that $100 wherever you can, invest in it, find a class, take it because it's so worth it. Um, so moving on, we started the class. So we were the youngest people in our class and I was nervous. I felt like everyone was looking at us like we were crazy. Like, you're babies, why are you here? You don't even know anything about the real world. Um, one of the first things that we had to do in the class is you have to write down how much debt you owe, how many credit cards you have. You don't put your name on anything, you just turn it in and then they add up how much uh, credit card debt or just debt in general that the class is in and how many credit cards there are. And then you do that, that same thing on the last week to see how much debt has been paid off and how many cards have been cut up. Um, so we had said that we were $615 in debt and I was blown away by the amount of debt that was combined in that entire class when there was only like a few people in the class I think like maybe four other families and it was insane I don't remember the number but I remember thinking oh my gosh if I'm $615 in debt these people are in some serious debt and I was like okay I can breathe a little bit you know I'm not I'm not anywhere where they are and I can you know I can pay this off it's gonna be okay so um, going forward, we went through the class and we had already had our first baby step done, $1,000 in the savings account done, which is part of the reason why I wasn't so worried about the $615 in credit card debt because I knew if we had to, we could take the money from savings and just pay it off. So I wasn't too worried about that. So we were just, we were on baby step two, we had $615 to pay off. Our tax return came and we completely paid it off and we were done with debt. There was no more debt. We were so excited to share with our class that we were debt free, even though it was like, you know, nothing compared to other people's debt and they're like, well, good for you. But um, we were extremely happy that we were able to pay it off and then get on board with the whole Dave Ramsey plan. So we started our budget. We started working on how much money that we had, how much money came out, um, and we didn't make enough for the bills that we had. Um, we just, there wasn't enough money. We had to, you know, cut corners and do everything that we could and eat as little as we could because we just needed more money. Um, so I think in April I had started my new job. Um, David has since gotten a couple promotions and we're doing much better in our financial journey. Um, there's definitely more money than there is month now, which is extremely exciting. Um, so that's kind of our financial history. Um, the class was amazing. We met some really great people in the class. One of the women who took the class is actually now a realtor and she has been nothing but sweet and it was just really wonderful to get to know her and to get to know the other people in the class. Um, the guy who taught our class is one of our really good friend's brother so we knew him and felt comfortable with him and it was just wonderful. It was great to be in a community of people who were on the same road um, and who were on the same you know, financial mindset. And it was great to have them to talk to and kind of bounce ideas off of and hear what they had to say about what Dave Ramsey was talking about and things like that. Um, you know, Dave Ramsey has some really great points and he teaches some really awesome things. However, for me and for my husband, we haven't followed his plan exactly to the T. Um, you know, there's we don't believe in every single thing that he teaches, but that's the thing is you kind of just have to make it work for yourself. Take what he's teaching and adapt it to your life and it'll work. Um, you know, so many people are like sticklers about you have to do it a certain way, but just make it work for you and I think you'll be fine. Um, if you stick to his basic principles, you should be fine. Um, one of the things that we don't really necessarily agree with 100% where I think it's a great idea, but something that I'm not willing to do is to just completely cut up every single credit card and give up our credit. And people say, you know, you can buy a house without credit, but it's extremely hard to buy a house when you're 22 years old because nobody believes in you or has any faith in you. Um, so I'm not going to take away my credit and make it that much harder for me to buy a house. So there's that, um, you know, and there's a couple other things, but 
Like I said, if you stick to his basic principles, you should be okay. So that's kind of a rundown of our financial history and a little bit of our Financial Peace University experience. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long for you. If you have made it all the way to the end, I want you to leave a comment in the comment section below and write Dave Ramsey rocks because I want to make sure that you guys see if you guys actually stay to the end because I'm going to be surprised if anyone did because this is like the seriously like longest winded video of life. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I will be back on Monday with a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.